going to see all the stories of the Bible. 16th story, Beersheba. Genesis chapter 19 verse 30 to 38. Genesis chapter 21 verse 22 to 34. Genesis chapter 23. Soon after the destruction of Sodom, Lot and his two daughters left the little town where they lived because he was afraid of what might happen to them there. They went to the mountains and lived in a cave. One day the oldest daughter said to her sister, Our father is old and we have no hope of getting a husband and having children. Therefore, it's up to us to preserve our father's line for future generations. I have a plan. Let's get our father drunk and become pregnant by our father. By doing this, we can preserve our father's line. The younger sister agreed. So for two nights, they got their father drunk and both daughters became pregnant by their father. The older sister gave birth to a son who became the father of Moabites. The younger sister gave birth to a son who became the father of Ammonites. King Abimelech came to Abraham and said, We can clearly see that God is with you in everything you do. So, let's make an agreement that there will be peace between your people and my people. Abraham said, I agree, but there is a problem we need to talk about. Your people have taken one of my will. The king said, I didn't know anything about this. Why didn't you tell me before now? I'll take care of it. So, they made an agreement and Abraham sealed it with giving Abimelech cattle and sheep. But he set aside seven ewe lambs. Abimelech asked about this. Abraham said, You have to accept these seven lambs as your way of saying that I own this well. The king accepted the seven ewe lambs and Abraham called the place Beersheba, which means well of the oat. Years later, Sarah died, having lived 127 years. At that time, their encampment was near Hebron. So Abraham went to the Hittites and said, They both live in this land together. Please allow me to buy a place where I can bury my dead. They said, You are God's chosen. None of us would hinder you from burying your dead. Abraham got up and bowed down before them. One of you owns a particular cave at the end of the field. Talk to them and persuade him to sell it to me at full price. The man stepped forward and said, I am that man and I can tell you that you are free to bury your dead there at no charge. So the two men met in front of all the people and Abraham said, Please allow me to buy this cave at full price. The man said, The cave is worth 400 shekels of silver, but what is that between you and me? Bury your dead freely in the cave. But Abraham weighed out 400 shekels and paid it to the man in front of everyone. So Abraham buried Sarah in the cave of Hebron and it became his procession from that day on.